Hi, my name is Danny Amaya, and I attended USC uh, for Bachelors of Architecture. Why would you go to a private school? Well, for me, I didn't choose USC because it was a private school. Uh, it just happened to be that I knew people that went there, and I found out that it was a uh, a good choice because they, since I was considered low income when I went there, they actually offered a lot of financial help and uh, grants, school grants. And so the cost to go there was comparable to if I went to a public school like UCLA. Um, there were costs, but it was much lower than what the full tuition was. So that's why I went there. Do you know what's the school known for? Well, it's known for sports, mostly football. And uh, uh, also, it is known for academics. Um, uh, it's known for being a good research university. And unfortunately, uh, it also is known sometimes for having alumni that are cocky or stuck up. Although that's not the majority, but some people have that stereotype of it. So I, I think that's what it's known for. Do you know how to transfer? Do I know how to transfer? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did. I transferred from East LA Community College. So I had to research. Luckily, I had some friends that had transferred, so they were a good resource and help. But mostly everything you could find out online visiting the schools. I remember visiting and finding out as much information from everywhere. Most of the stuff online I could you could find out from most schools. It might not be apparent right away, but it's there somewhere. So you just need to be serious about it and you can find out what you need and, and then plan as you go along. Okay, I need these classes or this or that. And, and so then that's how you transfer. What were your strengths and challenges? While there? Yes, what you see. My strengths were that I didn't uh, let difficult situations get to me because there was a lot of highs and a lot of lows because my major being architecture is very intense. So sometimes the schedule was really crazy and there was a lot of all-nighters. Um, and a lot of hectic nights and weeks. But there was a lot of interesting groups and uh, extracurricular opportunities. And I mean, it's just a lot of things you could do. No matter what you're into, they have something for you. And so those were real good experiences. So um, challenges was managing all the workload. Um, and my strength was... I guess, not letting it get to me, although sometimes it was hard. My weakness was, I would say, socializing, partying, you know, even though I was older when I transferred. Um, I had a, I met a lot of people, and it was fun, and so, you know, it was, it was hard balancing the workload when there was all kinds of things going on, especially with uh, people who had, at the time might have not had uh, deadlines or or they had more free time or you know etc cetera, etc cetera, so so I struggled with that but I didn't let it mess me up so that was my weakness that I had to pull through overall how was your experience overall it was a great experience uh, what I like about USC is that there's a lot of international students there's people that have parents that are multi-billionaires and there's people like me who come from low income South Central, so, and everything in between. And so, from different countries, different cultures. So, I learned a lot about different cultures through friends I met and people I met. And I think they learned about my culture through me. And so, uh, the experience was very interesting in that sense. And academically, it was also very interesting because. Some people don't like general education, but a lot of the classes that were very interesting were because 
I had to take general education classes, and, and some of them were, like, very enlightening, I guess, very, I'm glad I took them, and so, uh, that was, that's how I look at my experience. Okay. Is that it? Yes. Thank you. Okay.